Straight out the Tom Peacock studio here in H Town. It's your girl Grizzy. Hey. You with Hector. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and it's uh, every Saturday morning right here on CW and Facebook Live from the Tom Peacock Nissan Studio. I don't know Grizzy, but this whole Saharan dust stuff has really got to me. My eyes have been all watery. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yes, I had sinus issues. I didn't know if to pick the hurricane because apparently this is like a good thing right. to have this plume come over H Town, little brown colored dookie plume. But yeah, apparently it is a good thing uh because this is like a deterrent for a hurricane so it's like you got to pick your h-town poison do you take the h-town sprinkle of saharan dust mm -hmm. or do you take a hurricane i'm gonna take the dust y'all well it's gotten <laughs> to some people who are moving around you see here there's a picture here that somebody has submitted where somebody's actually holding down i think what is a mattress or a couch yes this is a perfect example if i got you was a person i mean if you're not gonna ride with me like this <laughs> You're, you're not my friend, dude. If that's you're not willing to get it like that, man, like, seriously, folks, that is a real friend. <laughs> a, a smart friend, maybe. That's what you're talking about, loyal friends. Yes, loyal friends, all the way till the wheels fall off. Man, shout out to that person, but please be safe. There's other methods. There's got to be something different that could have been done. Yeah, when we're talking about I need help moving, this is the kind of help I need. <laughs> For real, ASAP, pronto. I know that Heine had to be hot, and them tippy toes had to be curled. Oh, man, that's got to be crazy. But it shout out to the friends like that. It was kind of tightened up. It yeah. was like, oh, no, no, please don't fall. Yeah, cheeks clenched. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, go get your snacks, friends. We got more on the way. Let's go. All right, as you guys have been following, we've been hit by Hurricane Barrel, but with every disaster that comes through Houston, there's another disaster that comes through. People take advantage of the opportunity, whether it's from retro wigs and <laughs> yeah. uh, stuff like that. But you, we've seen it time and time again where there's looting, and we have a mask come on down here. Mask come on down, folks. Okay, so this took place off the corner of Mesa Road in Tidwell. Shout out to all my beautiful Lakewood peeps. I think it was the whole community that came out here to do this. I don't know. Like, everybody and their mama. But, yeah, um, I received a message and tons of surveillance videos. And, I mean, surveillance pictures. And I was like, what's going on here? It turns out that on the day of the hurricane, once things got settled and, mm -hmm. and you know, everybody's trying to rescue folks and, and, and try to make, you know, like your trees came down on homes and people are trying to figure out what to do next because they lost their power and all these different tragedies that were going on throughout the city. There were a group of people that decided that was their time to shine, man, mm. and shine in the wrong way. But guess what? We put that shine on you. Mm -hmm. All right. So we received over, I, th I want to say over 30 pictures of different suspects that broke into a, a trendy store, you know, like where they sell tennis shoes, right. sports gear, like shirts, just urban, uh, urban wear. And these folks just come in there like all these different suspects went in there and looted i mean they emptied out the store not even the safe was uh safe like the the safe had been broken and tampered with i don't know if they were successful or not i think some of these people should have been trying to break into a salvage yard to get parts look at that i don't know what was going on man you would think that the priorities were different right and i mean dang but but whatever clothes were more important so yeah we had all these different fine citizens out here uh, doing these things, man. Look at their faces. Some people are smiling. Uh, that's Larry right there. That's Chris. I've got. Oh, we, we, we gotta come on down in the works, friends. Some of these people have good jobs. One lady went to California, so she's like, oh, I ain't gonna deal with it. I already know what where her mind is at about all this. Uh, we have Miss Wall in here too. She's smiling. She really thinks she did something. I mean, we got all these different people. Some somebody even works at the airport. All the tea was spilt in my messenger, Hector. That is insane. You know, mm -hmm. they, they definitely took advantage of the situation there mm -hmm. uh, and almost a cleaned house. Yeah, we even had a couple in the house. I mean, we had people like just pull up and start Grandmas. taking. And, and, and people were yeah. bagging up their items as if they had shopped. I was like, what? The audacity. <laughs> they, they, even they, stuff sa too? they sacked it themselves. Yeah, they sacked it themselves. Sack and save, I guess, right? <laughs> right. Man. Uh-uh. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. This is GTA Houston uh gta 5 the houston edition <laughs> hey. everybody goes rogue all the players go rogue hey, but shout out to the camera i mean were those cameras out in the parking lot i guess yeah they're there? and yeah. they're solar powered and mm -hmm. and backed up by by uh batteries and stuff so yeah man uh, otherwise is... there would have been nothing because cops at the moment the from what i know hpd was all over the place trying to make right. sure nobody drowned right they were out there looking in high water areas doing search rescue efforts uh along with the fire department they were there to assist and you got people you know taking advantage of those moments 
experience and and breaking into a a local business uh you know a local business this is a hit for for people like they weren't able to go back to work and Lord knows when they're going to have inventory to, you know, supply for their customers. Yeah, this is what we're talking about, too, is those cameras are everywhere, Grizzy. Yep. You know, they're everywhere throughout the city everywhere. and they're in the parking lots. This is like a shot from Glamour Shots. Everybody walks out and they get a little snapshot mm -hmm. with them carrying, a, 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 you know, just stuff of, of goods mm -hmm. there from that store. Yeah, so I think we've got about 10 already identified, about 10 different individuals. Look at the mm -hmm. Loser Cruiser. She pulls it up. She's like, hey, right here, man. She gets out and hooks herself up with some stuff. So everybody was dressed really nice in the hood, I guess. Um, yeah, there they go. Oh, man, just wild, y'all. Be on the lookout. If you if there's any here that you recognize, hit me up in Messenger. If there are any people that you recognize, let me know. Because mm. uh, we st we're still needing about 15 more people for this come on down <laughs> oh my goodness don't do it don't do it don't don't lose your don't jobs do too you work yeah. at the airport bro what were you thinking don't do it don't uh, do a, it. A, you know seventy hundred dollar pair of shoes is not worth it you really needed car parts mm, that's all i gotta say all right if you're not if you haven't bookmarked grizzy's hood news.com make sure you do for the latest and greatest h-town videos right there on grizzy's hood news.com Grizzy, we got some crazy videos that uh, I guess uh, the cuz have gone wild on Bissonette. Cuz gone wild, Bissonette, and Fondren edition, man. I don't know. I, I I thought that was a pool noodle. Like, I thought that was a pool noodle, but I don't know what that is. It looks like the PVC covering, you know, when the pipes freeze and stuff. I don't know, like, what this guy did, but he swung and he created this damage that you guys see here Ooh. on this Hyundai. So, Hood News peeps. Okay, so this is a friend of the victim that reached out because you know your girl's gonna have a lot of questions i right. want to know what happened because we're not getting the whole story and not that it makes it right but it would be nice to have a little more info what caused this scene uh apparently this cug gets out and starts beating out the the windshield on these folks and there is a child inside the car at oh, the time of the incident yeah. oh there he goes yeah, man did you see that the the, trunk. yeah he, he popped the trunk and the the, the went into like a ditch thing <laughs> potholes and yeah man this guy we already have a come on down we will be announcing it make sure you stay tuned to the hood news but yeah we don't have enough information to really say what exactly happened we need the cuz part of the story <laughs> he, he got really that do. jim carrey uh, haircut yeah. from dumb and dumber <laughs> man i don't see they already sent me his instagram i do have his information oh, uh man. this kid is not very safe i'll just mm. say that the the victim i'm very glad that he didn't have a pistol, you know, uh, you know, pulled right. on him because the guy packs pistols, man. He's yeah. he's mm. he's he's on the radar for some stuff. So, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh, this this peep recording, whether he realizes it or not, this guy's actually a very dangerous individual. Oof, so got a hothead. Mm -hmm. Then in Weimar, we got McDonald's action. Yes. Mickey D's Weimar edition. Hey, we don't know what happened here. Like, I don't know, but. I, I don't really have anything to say. It's just like so, more questions than answers. Oh, she oh yeah. she launched something at the the Big Mac. Yeah, Big Mac. Oh, oh she threw it right back. Yeah, <laughs> baby, that's right, man. We're not putting up with that mess. Hell, <laughs> da -da -dun -dun -dun. I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. Mm. <laughs> then another scene from the north side is the wild, wild north. Man, I don't know, man. I, I'm thinking sometimes we're in Reynosa because I've seen stuff mm. like this over there in the hometowns, man. I don't know what happened. Hey, ladies, be very careful when you let your man borrow your car because, you know, they pull these stunts. I saw the, the baby on board sign, man. <laughs> That's yeah, not the, cool. The family with six yeah, kids. Yeah, the, the six kids, the little <laughs> stickers. Please be safe out there, man. Please, friends, just get in your car. It's not worth it. Whatever went down on these street, in these streets of Houston, it's not worth it. Look, the guy has a pew-pew. Uh, that wasn't a pump fake. No, that was not a pump fake at all. That's the real. Oh, did he actually shoot? I don't know. If you're the car on the receiving end, let me know what happened. <laughs> What happened? I want to know. Like, we want to know. Like, uh, update. Are you okay? Let us know. Blink twice if you you are right. <laughs> What's up with it, Hood News peeps? It's your girl, Grizzy. And I am so proud to announce we've got a new segment called Mattress Max. Come on down via Zoom. Hey, Grizzy. How are you? I'm doing well on this beautiful day. How about yourself? Good, I'm thrilled to be on the Hood News. I know, we're excited to have you. I'm so excited, friend. So we're gonna show you some videos and we're gonna see, we wanna get some uh, Mattress Mac reaction from them. And you know, just things happening in the Houston city, uh, affecting local businesses. Sometimes we get hit and runs. We got a bunch of craziness and we wanna get your intake on some of this stuff. Let's roll. All right, let's roll with it. All right, 
So this is a blue colored loser cruiser that's about to pull up on somebody's car parked over off of Washington Avenue near Shepherd Drive. We're asking everybody for a come on down because this was a hit and run. Somebody was ha enjoying a meal and these folks decided they were going to run from huh. an accident. Yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> yes. And, you know, the right thing to do would be, you know, get out, provide insurance. No, this lady decides she's going to swap places with her partner and they take off. Come on gonna... down. Identify who that is. They need to pay for that slamming I'm that so... car. Yes, look at Oh, my God. And they're off. Hey, get back here. Yeah. Get back here and pay for that car. Yes. Yes, friend. So, yeah, we're asking the public if, if anybody has any information. We got a few tips already. Supposedly, it's a husband wife, but we don't have it confirmed. That, that car has distinctive markings on it, and we're hoping that somebody will recognize that vehicle, and we want that come on down. We saw the lady. Uh, I don't know if these were drunk drivers, sleepy drivers, whatever the case, they need to make right by the people. Amen to that. Yeah. All right. Next video we have. This took place over off the 12,000 block of Veterans Memorial. Mac, I got this is a sad story. This grown man that you see here in this video took off with a scooter that belonged to a 16 year old fast food restaurant worker. That was the, the kid's means of getting to work every day. And he this grown man stole this scooter and rode off into the night with it. Well, that grown man is a scumbag. Yes, he, he is. This he needs to get that scooter back, and he's apologized for it, and yes, pay that and young man. It, you know, it's a shame when people are, are are working rather than taking welfare, and these people take advantage of them. That really pisses me off. Pisses me off too, friend. Yeah, this is so sad. We got kids these days. You know, we see we hear a lot about you know the bad stuff that the youngsters are out there doing, but we got a working, a hardworking kid, a sixteen year old getting ready for back to school, wanting to make money so they don't have to ask their parents. You know, they're showing initiative, and this is what gets done to this kid is totally wrong. We're hoping somebody in Houston will recognize him. We're working on trying to get this kid another scooter, and we're gonna try to help them with that, of course. However, we still need this person to be held accountable for that. Horrible action. Let me know how I can help him get another scooter. He, he's, right. he's the type of young people we need. Yes, people that we are need more. Vicious people. Yeah, that shout out work. to our youth. We need more. They want to work and youth. make a paycheck, not a welfare check. Good. For That's him. right, friend. That's right. We don't want no handouts. And then third, we have this other video coming straight out of Pasadena. This is Richie and Alan Genoa over at a smoke shop. These guys rammed into a glass window and they broke into a shop and stole everything they could get their hands on come on down back. let us know who these guys are uh, yes. you know what, what what a bunch of jerks they're out there trying to uh, do the right thing and make some money in retailing like i am and these other jerks are backing in there tearing up their store stealing their inventory shame on them come yeah. on down tell us who they are Come on down. That's right, friend. So sad, man. And one thing I do want to tell our business owners out there, we got to be better about these cameras and where we place them because we couldn't even get a good view of the crooks that did this. Just uh, very horrible and just so wrong. Look how, and you know what, Mac? I think this truck is stolen too. I wouldn't be surprised if the truck that they used was also stolen. Well, I got cameras everywhere out here. And the only time they're not on as we have power already from center pointless yeah Other center that, pointless. The cameras are on so crazy and we're not done with center pointless yeah you better let them know friend mm. still on them say uh how about the uh story from yesterday yeah so yesterday we had a fire uh where uh around 6 a.m the houston fire department they responded to a townhome that had caught fire. There was a 21 year old big brother taking care of his little sisters. Mom was at work. This happened around 6 a.m. Mom was working one of her two jobs and she came home to discover that her three little girls had died in this fire. The family was woken up to the fire. Big brother made several attempts to try to rescue his sisters and he could not. Unfortunately, um, he, he made several attempts to go get them, but he would fall down the stairs every time. And he was actually, he was engulfed in some flames and they had to put the fire out on him. Well, the three little girls passed away ages 8, 12, and 15. And now a mother is trying to figure out how to go about laying her children to rest. What a shame. You know, I, I have a big place in my heart for people that are working to support their family, just like that young man they sold his scooter or uh, yeah. the people in that smoke shop trying to work and they slam into it or this wonderful mom who lost her three children. So... God bless her. She'll be in our prayers and 
Let's do oh, something yeah. to raise some money for the funeral. Oh, yeah. We got a GoFundMe going, Mac, and it's doing very well so far. And we're hoping that, you know, they're only asking for about 30000 And we're hoping to work with a funeral home, too, to help, you know, uh, buffer that. And that way they're not feeling those expenses as much. But, yeah, there's a yeah, GoFundMe. Well, I've had a lot of experience working at funerals home after the uh, hurricane. Several people died. So yes. let, me know how, let me know how I can help. All right. Sounds good, Jim. Thank you, friend. Always great to be on Grizzly News. Keep keep keeping these people accountable, Grizzly. You're the best. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you, Mac. Thank you. Y'all come see us at Galvin Furniture. We'll deliver your furniture free, free, free today. Yes. Hey, Hood News peeps. It's your girl, Grizzly, and I'm excited to be here with our newest of sponsors, New Generation Home Pro Marshall. Why is it important to have a security system in your home or at work? There's a lot of bad people out there. Anything that you can do to protect yourself and your family is what you need to do. You know, we provide security cameras that you can zoom in on somebody and really see the facial recognition from them, as well as the alarm systems that are 24-7 monitoring. If somebody breaks into your house, you don't want to have to worry about calling the police. If the alarm goes off, that's going to call them for you. We heard about something called the Come On Down Security Package. Yes, Grizzy. We are very excited to offer the Come On Down Package just for Grizzly followers. It's a channel NVR, a terabyte hard drive, and four 4K active deterrent cameras, meaning they will actually trigger lights and sirens once somebody actually walks into their field of range. And then it also has a doorbell camera, and you can actually expand on it later because there's still space on the NVR. So call us today, 936-205-2735. All right, we're here with lead technician Andrew Kendrick. The hood news, we're always sharing surveillance camera images. Some are okay, and some are very poor quality. What is the difference between what you guys have to offer and let's say like, you know, Swan or whatever else we can find out there at the stores? A lot of the cheaper camera systems, like from box stores, whatever, they're gonna be, you know, not quite as wide of an angle, around 90 degrees. Our camera's about 102 to 105 degrees. For our systems, you have the possibility of having like a PTZ camera where you can zoom in really, really far. We have like active deterrent cameras that have lights and sirens and can kind of deter people versus just film. So here is a couple of the, the cameras that we sell. This is a 180 camera. It's basically just shooting straight out, but it sees this entire parking lot. And this is our PTZ camera. So this right here is gonna show you how close that we can get up on potentially a license plate or potentially like a sign of some sort or a face. I'm gonna zoom out and you can kind of see that this is way further than yes, any, that's not any digital close. zoom can get. So that's gonna make all the difference when somebody needs to get information. Like these security cameras provide info mm -hmm. and they're doing their job. This is definitely something the peeps need, especially in today's times. Lindsay, can you tell us about the free doorbell camera contest that you guys have exclusively for the Hood News peeps? Yes, we're actually going to offer a giveaway for one of our 2K smart doorbells. All you have to do is simply enter to win, follow our Facebook page. One of you is going to win and we want to get you protected. All right, Hood News peeps, these are the kind of cameras you need to get. We can see craters on the moon, but we can't even see a bandit's face on Earth. But now you can. New generation home pro security company. Call them now. Southeast Houston, be on the lookout, folks. Ooh, what do we have here? This bandit broke into a Hood News Peeps vehicle located off of Scarsdale in Southeast Houston. Please be on the lookout. Maybe somebody will recognize this individual. But why is this camera moving around like this? I usually fast forward, but let's see how it plays out. I'm going to try to zoom in on his face if we catch a glimpse of it. All right, here we go. Ooh, we got a money shot. Ooh! Somebody's going to recognize this cat. Who's baby boy? Talk to your sons out there, your daughters out there that are committing these crimes. Talk to them, man. We're in the great state of Texas and something terribly bad can happen. Be on the lookout, Hood News peeps. Somebody's going to recognize him. And why is this camera moving around? Oh, my God. There he is right there looking through the car as the people are asleep. Good thing we got this video footage. I mean, it rotates a lot, but hey, we got we got the money shot, friends. Be on the lookout. Southeast Houston, somebody's going to know who this is. Hey, hey, little homie, slow your roll, man. You're going to mess around and find out. All right, Hood News peeps, be on the lookout. This happened over at Kimberly's World Perfumes at the 7100 block of Luetta over in spring texas be on the lookout folks this happened around 12 30 a.m tuesday morning this is a local business that sells perfume this individual busted through the glass door and helped himself to tons of perfumes this is a local business that was affected in such a horrible way damages caused entire inventory just swept away into a garbage can look at this guy man 
yeah, because he, he he bought his own trash can. Like, this is insane, you guys. Be on the lookout. Hopefully, somebody will recognize this guy. And he's got a boo thing. Look at her. Look at her. She just opened the passenger door. She's like, oh, daddy, you're so sexy. Do you need any help, big daddy? No, babe. You just go be a lookout for me. I got this, babe. You're with the real pro. I know what the f I'm doing. Hey, babe. Go be my lookout, babe. I need you to have all eyes out there. I can't see what's going on, okay? Say less, daddy. I got you. I got you, daddy. Take no If you a member, throw the ganga. I don't care if I get famous. I'ma still be out here bangin', twisting bangers, staying dangerous. If you a member, throw the ganga. I don't care if I get famous. I'ma still be out here bangin', twisting bangers, staying dangerous. Did a cat scan at the doctors? They say I got money on my brain. Got some lungs filled up with weed in my bladder filled up with drink. They say yo, T boy, yo, what you think? Cause I walked in smelling like don't call my garage Johnson the AK Drake. I'ma shut down the engine and scratch off the paint. Oh, T, you sound like Kevin Gates to the baby. These fools ain't got no flow like me. I'ma hit them with the Mac and they gon' drop to the knees. I'll be chillin'. Well, Grizzly, looks like we found a new uh, terminology that I guess is called the pump fake man I'm old to it but I, I, I look friends I don't know man pump faking I think I did this myself like 10 years ago man I don't know Try, trying to get myself out of a weird situation right. I got you I'm a man friends look I'm just gonna say please be safe out there this happened somewhere off a of 610 ramp near 59 traffic was stalled because two motorists got into it but this guy this guy right here man he had to go extra with it Instead of just a, you know, a birdie or a flip of the, you know, words and stuff. No, this guy went to the back trunk, popped the trunk, and and I don't know what he bought out. You know, if this was GTA 5 Houston edition, there's no loot in this game. This right. guy had to reach for a menudo container. <laughs> and I don't know what he was going to do with it. Like, it's just weird. <laughs> like, what happened? Oh, man. Yeah, he had no chonas either, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, we saw cheeks there, too. Man, I don't know what's going on. He hit the, hey, whoever's in the passenger side. They had to uh, pop the trunk. And, man, it's just wild, y'all. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's, it could safe. be a dangerous situation where, you know, this could been, have been really dangerous and somebody could have gotten shot, yeah. killed. Uh, so, you know, he's acting like, I guess, he's acting like he's going to pull out a weapon uh, mm -hmm. to scare off somebody. But you don't know. The other people on the other car could have easily have pulled yes, out a gun that this quickly. could have turned into a pew-pew fatality or Lord knows what else. I mean, please be safe, friends. And what did he throw up? He did like this. And like this. Yeah, he threw up the Mexican part-time signs. <laughs> yeah, the part-time. Because there was some resemblance there to the boy Mexican OT. But no, this is the distant, removed cousin uh, part-time. <laughs> Charmone on Facebook says he popped the trunk and got a, a bottle of water. Bottled water, menudo container. Somebody said it was some kind of bowl. Fidel. Just, Fidel, yeah. <laughs> Please be safe, friends. Uh, we can't say that enough. Don't do this. Don't do this at home. And be advised, folks. You never know what you'll see on these streets of Houston or these mm. freeways. Parents at home, ever since school vacation began, we've had a lot of kids running away from home, uh, you know, disappearing, going missing, all kinds of different situations. A lot of them have been found or they go home because they've been put on the hood news. Other times we don't know where they're at. Yeah, so it's just it, a lot of crazy stuff happening. It, it's almost a daily occurrence, Grizzy, where yeah. we're getting daily Amber Alerts. Yes. Uh, all from mostly from Houston. Yes. And I'm, you know, your page too as well, the Grizzly's Hood News page on Facebook. Almost every day I'm seeing flyers of missing kids yeah. and uh, endangered children. So it's a, it's a crazy scene that's happened in the summer. Yeah, we just had one, as a matter of fact, today. A little boy, 14-year-old, uh, went missing or run away or whatever was going on. Well, I just got news just a while ago that he went on a road trip with friends. That's scary. I mean, he just caused all this scare. Oof. And I think the fear of being on the hood news is what gets the kids to come back home. Unfortunately, last week, I believe it was on Monday after we mm -hmm. filmed the last episode, right. I, I was getting notifications from a family that a little girl, um, we'll just say her last name, is, we'll just call her CB. This little girl snuck out the house at about four o'clock in the morning somewhere around that time took her mom's truck and she ended up at a crystal inn off of little york and 59 mm. she went to this place and she met up with a grown man that was about 27 years of age and and they checked in for a little while in the room and then they came back out and he took her he yeah. took her over state lines mm. crazy stuff man and we had no update like she when when mom woke up to get ready for work and to get the kids you know you know situated she discovered that her daughter uh cb was not home and she traced the good thing is that she had that life tracker that 360 uh life tracker thing that there's some kind of app right i need to get it too but but she had that 
and she was able to track the truck back to the Crystal Inn because her truck was taken, right? She gets there, and the phone is placed inside. So this little girl was taken without her phone. She had nothing on her. So all day long, like I, after we filmed here, I went and met up with the parents who were at a restaurant across the street. They were very devastated, very afraid, not knowing where this little girl is or where or her whereabouts and if she's even okay. Right. And then we got with that this could have possibly entered into another state, like where she right. was taken uh, across state, like to a, a Louisiana. So shout out to everybody that got the alert going because in a moment like this where you know that a kid might be in some kind of danger and it was a known fact that she was with somebody who had taken her, 12 years old, they can't say, yeah, I want to go. No, that's not right. Like a 12-year-old is a 12-year-old. Right. There was so much lacking. I don't know who dropped the ball, Hector. Mm -hmm. I don't know who did it. Like, it, I don't know. I know HPD was working in it, and I know Harris County Sheriff's Office was working on it. However, we know that there was a, a, a predator situation, something yeah. not right. And and this little girl, there was no Amber Alert till the following day, almost a whole 24 hours later, an Amber Alert is issued. But by then, the people were outraged enough. Thank goodness, the yeah. community. We had influencers news pages ourselves mm -hmm. the the peeps people in other state in in the next state of louisiana those groups they were out there helping um to get this story out shout out to my friend the real uh, draco i love her hey friend i love you uh real draco man she 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 did like stories on mm -hmm. it too to amplify it get it out there well we finally got word that she had went home uh, I guess this person got scared because, you know, Facebook is nothing to play with. Social media, when these stories get out there and people really want are invested in wanting to help, people were calling this guy. Right. Like, you need to return this girl. Uh, his mom actually prayed with the family, which I thought was, I don't know what's going on there, but she actually prayed with the family and said, oh, he's not this type of person. He would never do this type of thing. He's, mm. he's a loner. Those are signs, ladies and gentlemen. Those are signs like somebody just not really able to communicate well with adults right. and stuff. It's not a good thing. Like that's a, that's a red flag. So this person was caught, but the girl was not mm. with him. So uh, it turns out that he came back into Houston dropped her off somewhere off of uh aldine bender aldine mail route somewhere out there aldine westfield um and and she made her way back home i think people gave her rides but just very scary what she went through she's gonna need healing she's gonna need yeah. counseling I, I i i know this for a fact the fbi is involved they have charged him with some things but we're still waiting to see what houston does about it because he had a five thousand dollar bond in louisiana so we want to know what else is he going to get charged with. It needs to be, like, big because he took this girl over state lines. So I know the FBI is looking into this. I don't know what they're waiting for. And, Grizzly, I was with you that day when she was the, the found, I guess, missing. Mm -hmm. But I just saw the fear in your face because just the fear coming out of you, too, as well. Because yeah, how many friend. times have we you've covered these stories yeah. where it doesn't turn out well? Yeah, right? and it didn't. I mean, it turned out that she's alive, but it right. turned out very scary and alarming. And I want parents at home, look. We, I had I had this little girl's phone at some point. When I met up with them, I said, where's her phone? Let me see your phone because I know what to look for. Mm -hmm. There were apps. There are apps that hide things. There's Discord. There's all these different things. I went through her phone beginning to end, and I could not find anything. And I feel like it was deleted because there was some stuff that was kind of questionable that I came across. But without knowing everything like things were deleted off this phone but there is still like a cloud somewhere that you can find all this stuff because right. things aren't there's always going to be a trace left behind on a phone but what i'm getting at with this is that we must monitor our kids uh, you know their activities, activities on the websites on social media pictures they're taking their friends everything you need to know what's going on because giving a child a phone is almost like giving them a weapon right and it can be used against them and the technology today has made things so much easier for predators too, as well, to yes. talk to the young yes. young kids. Yes. In our days, it was you know it was just go to a skating rink or the mall, and that's how you would interact with people. But today, you have just at the palm of your hands. Yeah, yeah, and 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 you know, like it, it's just so sad, man. I hope this guy pays for what he did, what all he did. He had her for a long time, and you know, we heard of another story where a girl, an Amber Alert, was set for another little girl, and she had a situation similar where she was with a groomer. Uh, some kind of predator that she met online they issued one quick for her and i'm like well what's the difference with this little girl and the next girl like no we need to be better our authorities here 
y'all dropped the ball. I'm just going to be very straight up. Uh, I'm not happy about it. Uh, another little girl went missing a few days later, and quickly they issued an Amber Alert. So that lets me know somebody really did drop the ball. Right. And, Grizzly, that's, you know, m much respect to you, too, as mm -hmm. well. You, you know, obviously we're very, you know, pro-law enforcement here, too, as well. But we will hold people accountable uh making sure that you know they're doing their due diligence on their part to make sure that amber alerts and these kids are being uh, found and not there's no delays mm -hmm. um yeah i'm sure there's there's runaway situations they always come across but this was kind of obvious that yeah. this, this all young the girl, signs mm -hmm. were there and even with the charging of this guy i hope they speed it up because i'm waiting thea grizzly's waiting we want to know what this guy's gonna get charged with because uh this little girl endured some things and, and went through some other things and and was terrified and abused i'll just say it like that we need justice for this girl we need justice for the family we need justice for the community i mean this was a huge scary story scary experience for all parents out there watching this at home unbelievable and 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 he needs to pay i also found out that this guy has ties to the military and he works as a correction officer so there might be more victims people like wow. that you know we don't know like what all he's done and you know his appearance in real life and his appearance online he looks a lot younger so what what was he doing like are, have you met other girls and we need to hold this uh crystal in also accountable because mm. there have been other situations where missing kids were uh, have been found there just two weeks prior some girls went missing they were also here and then a few years ago when from hood news was still relatively young we posted uh, about three missing girls back to back uh, along with other missing kids and three girls that we had posted were found in a room with 13 other kids inside that were being um held yeah held uh what do you call it uh groomed and 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 trafficked so you know these pimps they 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 use these places the thing that makes it tricky is that these days we have a lot of families that are displaced and living out of hotels out of motels the nasty ones the ones that nobody the the per per hour type mm -hmm. you know we have a lot of families in a lot of economical uh crisis and struggles so when they see a kid it doesn't necessarily throw a red flag right it's just one of those things where we have to pay attention, man. Just mm -hmm. be, read the read the room, read the situation. You see this little girl with this man at night. Oh man, it's just uh, know do your better. surroundings. Yeah, do better. Mm -hmm. And what they told the family, I just don't even want to repeat it. I was so angry. They they're covering their tracks. Right. Such a sad situation. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm glad she was found and she came back home. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully this is a lesson to many all of us here in the community to be on the lookout for our youngsters and our our youth. Um, you know, and just uh, be aware of our surroundings. Mm -hmm. I'll just say like this. The family was so, oh, you don't have anything to worry about. Housekeeping wasn't needed. It wasn't necessary. No, there was housekeeping. This little girl went through some things. And mm -hmm. I'll just leave it like that. We got to do better. Everybody as a society, we need to do better. If you see something that's out of pocket, out of line, react on it. Don't just message somebody or, or record it. No, go help. Stop being a, 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 a voyeur. It's mm -hmm. time to to react and, and act on things when you see something's not right. I'm wondering how many stops did they make? And maybe somebody thought, oh, that's not that doesn't look right. She doesn't look happy or she looks distressed. You know, how many people did they come across who just chose to turn the, the, the other way? Richmond, Texas, be on the lookout. This incident occurred over at the Riches Car Wash. This is going to be the 7100 block of FM 1464. This individual in a minivan loser cruiser stole a bunch of construction material that did not belong to him and he had no authorization to come steal or pick up or whatever is going on in his mind. Be on the lookout, folks. Look at this mess. Somebody's going to recognize that minivan, that individual, and the construction material. Can he please return it back? Stubner Airline Area near 1960. Be on the lookout, Hoodies peeps. These guys attempted to break into a truck. Now, we don't know if they were going to steal it or what they were going to do. They made away with two pairs of sunglasses. They broke into the vehicle. The good thing is that the homeowners were home and they were alerted. They were able to step out, but these guys had taken off. Then, for some reason, the cameras cut off. It was just weird. Like, I was like, where's the rest of it? They said, oh, no, they cut off after some time. Uh, the porch was able to catch some of the activity. And this is where the lights start going off. Yep. All right. Then they take off. I guess they got spooked and rattled by the homeowners. There they go. That's the loser cruiser. Be on the lookout, folks. Stubner Airline and 1960 area. What's up, Hood News peeps? It's your girl, Grizzy, and I'm standing here at the Northwest Education Center. Longtime friends and partners of the Hood News 
I'm here to announce today that they are sponsors. We're here to discuss some things with the Hood News peeps about opportunities that are available to the community for growth and more education because we want a powerful hood. So can you tell us about the programs that the Northwest Education Center provides for the community? Absolutely. Right now we offer barber, cosmetology, medical assistant, and pharmacy technician. How do you guys stay up to date with so many changes in the industry? Well, uh, we do have continued education that we are required to take um, as employees here at Northwest Educational okay. Center, both on the medical side and on the beauty side of everything. How do you ensure that the programs are accessible to the people in the community? Well, um, we are advertised as low cost for a reason. Um, you know, here we utilize, and they're gonna talk a little bit more about it in the financial aid side, but we use the Pell Grant and an in-house scholarship to make sure that our graduates uh, graduate debt-free. However, if you do not qualify for the government assistance, we do still have that in-house scholarship that you, will up that you also qualify for. So we try to make it low cost either way, whether you qualify for the Pell Grant or you don't qualify for the Pell Grant. For those at home that see this and say, well, you know, I work full time, I've got the kids. How do you guys work with people that have a busy schedule already? Oh, is that something that is available? Absolutely. So we do understand that it's adult education and adult education means you have to, you know, provide for your families and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we do have day and nighttime classes. Our um, daytime class runs from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and there's a break and then 5 to 10 p.m. If there needs to be a modified schedule, then we can work around your job as well. So they enroll, they, they go through the courses, they finally graduate. How do you guys keep up with the support that the students are gonna need upon graduation? Okay, that's a great question. For our medical program, the last 180 hours are done in an externship, which means uh, nine times out of 10, when they're placed in that externship, they get hired on depending on their work ethic in the field. Okay, on the barber side and cosmetology side, we also help with job placement afterwards because we have a lot of connections in our industry. And we also make sure to follow up with our students to make sure they're passing their written and their practical exams. Here at The Hood News, we enjoy working with partners that give back to the community. Can you tell us about all the different things that you guys do to give back to the people in the neighborhoods? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, one of the biggest things that we've actually started doing in the last two and a half years is um, our outreach coordinator, Mr. Sanchez, he opened up a door for us to work with TDCJ, which means that we offer second chance opportunities mm -hmm. to ex-felons who want to educate and elevate. We also work with Pride Houston very closely. We also work with the Salvation Army House for young people living on the street. Oh, wow. You know, yeah, and we try to give them an opportunity to also find a new way of life. So we are a melting pot of all sorts and uh, it's never enough for anyone. It's so good that you guys always give back to the community. We're very proud to have you guys on as sponsors. Thank you so much. Thank you, Northwest Education Center. Peeps, you want to go to where there are community-driven places to get educated. You want to go where the education is, but also the love for the community. Call today. All right, with devastating news, uh, we had a condo fire in Southwest Houston that uh, took took the lives of three beautiful daughters to a, a, a big uh, to a family. So what we understand is that a phone that was charging might have caused this whole fire. The family awoke were awoken to a fire uh, in the apartment, and they were already, it, everything was up in flames mm -hmm. when they woke up. And so brother went try to make several attempts to go upstairs to get his sisters, but every time he, he couldn't get to the door was hot flames were hot you know like he couldn't get through he even caught burnt he even got burned himself the family dog was burned every it was just really sad and uh he made several attempts and they had to even stop him and restrain him because he could have gotten killed trying to go save his sisters so there were three little girls upstairs his siblings and her their names are anita she was age eight yulisa was 12 years old and Evelyn, she was the oldest, she was 15. The little girls did not get to make it downstairs. By the time firefighters were able to get to them, they were no longer with life. They passed away at the scene on the second story in their bedroom. Uh, the little girls, can you can just imagine mom coming home and discovering that she's lost three of her children, her girls. Yeah, I think it's surprising too, Grizzly. I have family members who are in the fire department mm -hmm. and you know how quickly fire can, can spread. Oh yeah. And within yeah. 10 minutes, your whole entire home could be already mm -hmm. engulfed in flames. 
Yeah. Um, it's also a, a reminder too, as well, to make sure you have multiple fire detectors too, as well in the homes too, as well. I, I'm not sure if they had some or not. Yeah, that's the that's a question I was mm -hmm. asking, and I was told by several neighbors that if there were there, they were not functioning because right. nobody heard anything. You know, nobody heard the right. sounds or anything like that. And uh, I mean, prayers for this this big brother. He, he wasn't able to save his sisters. Like he actually even tumbled backwards mm. when he tried to reach the door. I think uh, one of his sisters may have pushed him on accident and he came down the stairs. Like, and then they closed the door because they were afraid of the flames. Oh, so it's one of those things where nobody could get to them. And so, yeah, this, this fire spread quickly. By the time they woke up, the, the place was already up in flames. So, I mean, prayers for this mom. Uh, please be kind in the comments. A lot of people are like, oh, she's not reacting. Oh, man. I, and I have to say this because sometimes we need to teach people how to be decent humans, mm -hmm. you know, like it's sad Sensitive. that we have to say stuff yeah. like this. Uh, I was seeing how uh, people were wanting to interview her and it might not. It was not the best time. It really isn't. The, the, the woman just lost her three daughters and she's in a shock. shock. You know, it hasn't hit her. Not only did she lose everything inside her apartment, but she lost her three babies. Her world is gone. And so, yeah, I don't know what people want to see, but. These people aren't here for your instant gratification. They're they're human and they're going through profound moments in their life of suffering, mm -hmm. anguish. Uh, a mother, you know, like as a mother, you got to understand that everybody grieves. We wear it different, but that yep. doesn't mean that this woman's not devastated. Yeah, when trauma hits people, you don't know how they respond. Everybody mm -hmm. reacts differently, just like you said, Grizzy. And yeah. uh, the fact that there's some people in the comments and uh, on other outlets, too, as well, where they're kind of almost targeting the, the mom, too, yeah. as well. But this mom was out, you know, she's trying to put... She's, yeah, she's, she she's a strong a lady. And, she's a strong lady, man. I'm going to give her that, man. She's very strong, and she just wants to get help now for her kids to lay them to rest. Mm -hmm. And she's got to get into certain survival mode uh you know and and this boy too he looks like he's shocked like i can't even imagine like what he went through being powerless right and not able to save his sisters i mean that's that's and horrifying and grizzly i saw on the lives too as well while you're out there broadcasting that they were had like a, a prayer visual with with her the mom out there afterwards too as well that Ye night uh yeah it was just a gathering mm -hmm. of the neighbors not so much a vigil it's like the people out there in southwest houston are really tight-knit man the whole mm -hmm. apartment community came we had members of uh the church i believe and also the consulate because mom's from el salvador and so the girls were born here uh but the consulate still came out there to to assist and see how they could help and uh the Reporters were out there too, trying to get information for the GoFundMe. I hope it's successful. They're only asking for thirty thousand, which is really on the low side because it costs a lot of money to lay folks to rest. And and I don't know. I just hope they get it. Like we've donated already, and we're watching it, you know, grow and grow. If you have the means and you would like to help, it's all on the Hood News. Make sure you follow so you can get that information. And yeah, we stand behind this family. We we support them, and we're here for whatever they need. You know, like. Um, any like I like people were already asking me Grizzy the same day uh, I've got pots and pans and I said look she just lost her kids she's not worried about none of that right now like let's yeah. give her a few days and then she can start to think about those things right now she just lost her babies and I understand that everybody wants to help that right. the best way we can help them right now is probably with money mm -hmm. and and then we can go with the stuff and and get the things you know it's gonna be a process we don't leave these stories alone Y'all know if you ride with the hood news, we're going to be there from beginning to end, however we can help. So it's not we just posted a story and then we're going to walk away. No, we're going to be there throughout the process because, you know, we this is how we are, like, as a community. And I thank everybody for being so supportive. There might be one or two uh, peeps that go rogue and stray and, and, you know, walk off the beaten path and say mean things. But we're going to check it. So, yeah, don't play. And we're here. Yeah, prayers to his family and uh, prayers for the community there in Southwest Houston. Hopefully, uh, she gets the uh, the help that she needs. But again, this is a tra traumatizing situation. Yes, rest in peace to the three beautiful little girls, man. May they rest in heaven. Hood news peeps at home. We always talk about domestic violence. We always talk about you know different measures that things that we can do to try to get out of those abusive relationships. All right. So the next phase is what do we do when we try when we are away from those abusive relationships, but the abusive uh, the abuser comes back and mm -hmm. makes our life miserable. That is the story of one hood news peep. Uh, she's from Liberty, Texas, I believe, or Liberty County. And she found herself in a situation where she's waiting for a protective order because an ex is not respecting her boundaries, has gone multiple times to her residence to damage her car, put sugar in the tank, uh, destroy cameras. He harasses her. He's called her a million times, which I've got all the screenshots. He calls, 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 calls her out her name, has made a 
kind of like uh, suggestions. What happens? What would happen if something happened to your boys? And that you wow. don't play with. That's that was the ultimate. What made her reach out to me mm. and Tia Grizzly? We don't play. We already know who this guy is. We're waiting for a little more stuff to happen right now because she can't express all this right now. There's a bunch of legalities going on for her safety also. Uh, I wish we could just blast this guy, but what if he comes back and does something to her? It's like a very powerless situation watching it. And these guys and these women that harass folks can get away with it kind of. You know, it's sad. Yeah. Like, what are we waiting for? Something serious to happen? Yeah, Grizzly, it looks like she re obviously reached out to you and she was obviously looking for some directions on what to mm -hmm. do next. Uh, it looks like the person was uh, issued a criminal trespassing order back in April. Yes, but that doesn't do anything. It's like, uh, okay, don't don't come back around here. Mm -hmm. And then obviously he's here. You know, we have him on video yeah. uh, submitted by her too as well where he's there on video. This is, I mean, this I is. I have other videos intense. of him where you can see his face. At first, he didn't care. He didn't think that she was going to call the police, and she did. And that's how he got into all this trouble. Uh, now he's taking the, the thing. He works at a refinery, you guys. This guy uh, works Monday through Friday, I believe. And then on the weekends, I think that's when he starts harassing this woman. And it's so sad. I've read everything. I'm a witness. She reached out to me saying, Grizzy, if something happens to me, it was so and so, so and so. So I went to his page mm -hmm. and I blocked him a long time ago for being a bleep, bleep, mm -hmm. bleep. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, this guy is like his personality reeks of that, man. So I don't know, man. This guy has been blocked. It tells me a lot. I hope she has some protection. I hope mm -hmm. she's gone through some classes for uh, for protection too, as well. To, to yeah, to we had protection. my friend Natural. She was supposed they're they're supposed to link up. I don't know mm -hmm. what's gonna happen with that, but we had some people reach out, you know. And uh, this story is gonna be told. Like I'm just waiting for a little more. Like we need to be very careful, keep her safe. For right now, she is in a safe spot away from the house. But can you imagine having a home? And you want to look after your house because what if he does something to the right. house? And also your kids too, your as kids, well. Your kids, yes. So be ready, friends. Yes. I always say this: get strapped or get clapped, man. Mm. We gotta, you know, like get, be ready. You gotta have that protection on you. You have to have that thing on you. That's right. That hot and ready piece, man, because that that can one day save your life. And this is why we live in the great state of Texas, where we can protect ourselves in these situations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're watching right now on Facebook Live during the Saturday morning. Uh, leave a comment below. What would you do in this situation? We want to know. We want to hear from you. Leave a comment there below here on Facebook Live. And prayers for this lady, man. And there's many. This is a story of many, many men and women because men are victims too. All right. That'll do it from the Tom Peacock Nissan studio. It is Grizzly's Hood News Unfiltered. Grizzly, do you have any words of wisdom for the week? Be good. <laughs> that's it. This would be, Just be good. Don't, don't be on the hood news, man. Like y'all, I'm behave. tired of y'all. No, no. Like seriously though, like love your children. Mm. Check their phones. It's okay to be strict. You don't have like being their best friend means not being right. a friend. Like we're not our kids' friends. We're their protectors. We're the authority. We rule. We're the king and queens of our homes, and the kids need to know that. And we teach them respect because it's a cycle. It's a generational cycle. We, If, if you have uh, um, chains and stuff, you know, like uh, generational curses, break through them, man. Like we have to start fresh with our kids that because then it's going to be a cycle never like that doesn't ever end. All those ge generational curses will go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Stop it. Nip it in the bud. Be proactive. Be there for your kids. And with Grizzly, you know, and Grizzly with, you know, school starting soon now for, multi for a lot of our school districts mm -hmm. in the city. Uh, in the area too as well our, our youth are under attack more than ever yes you know they're being targeted more than ever from bullies, the bullies yeah. sex trafficking yeah all you, kinds of stuff mm -hmm. and it's now more important than ever that you get involved get them involved in the positive things get them involved in sports mm -hmm. in church youth and all these types of activities but even you'll keep your head on the swivel because even in those circumstances you don't even know who to, yeah, who to trust yeah just be involved you are the parent you're the responsibility but also know that know that you just got to be involved in their lives know who they're talking to know yeah. who the friends are you know and uh, catch those red mm -hmm. flags yep mm -hmm. but uh until next week if it's real news it's hood news